Oh, it's Bay's birthday. Okay, so let's just skip ahead. As we start off this new year. <laughs> Jeremy's birthday is going to be a while, and so is ours. I can't remember what Jeremy does for his birthday now. Hmm. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Um. Okay, next week we can go on a date. So I guess we'll do some texting. I should see where we are affection. I don't think we're at max affection yet. I think we have to go through all the dates first. Or something like that, maybe. All right, let's continue on our number one dates. The first. Yeah, we still got a while to go. Uh, boop, 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 boop. All right, to the haunted house. Hiya, Jeremy. Why are you calling? I want to see you. Ha. Huh. Don't be like that. I'm planning on taking you to the haunted house of the amusement park. Isn't that great? Um, not really. Well, too bad. That's what we're doing. Sigh. Why do we even bother with the pretense that you care about what I think? Because I do care what you think. I just care more about what I think. If you weren't such a sourpuss, then maybe we could work out a compromise. A compromise with you would just be doing a different thing that you like. Yeah, but at least it could be something I liked that you tolerated more. I can't tolerate anything you like. Then it's settled. Meet me at the bus stop tomorrow. <laughs> Whatever. Ouch. Harsh truths. <laughs> of course I care about what you like, but I care about what I like more. Uh, Alright. Hey, Jeremy. Huh. You know, you have no one to blame for this but yourself. I tried to compromise. That wasn't a real compromise. Yeah, yeah. Who cares? So, hey, you never told me what you thought about the haunted house. It's an awful waste of time where people go through a stuffy, smelly building with cheap, juvenile attempts to startle simple-minded people. I figured it'd be something like that. Well, let's go inside. Hmm. Why did you want to come here? Do you really think you're going to get scared? Maybe. But either way, I can at least pretend to be scared and use that as an excuse to latch onto you. You don't. What? You're not going to be there for me when I'm distressed? You told me you were going to be pretending. But what if I do actually factually get scared? Then too bad for you. You shouldn't have come here. You're a harsh kid, Jeremy. Still, I want to have some good, scary fun, and you're not going to ruin that. Whatever. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one who gets scared. No. And if you do, I won't push you away. That isn't going to happen. Yeah, probably. Sigh. What's the problem? I agreed with you. I think I stepped in soda or something. My foot is kind of sticking to the ground. Don't bring that up. Uh, why not? Because we're lost in a haunted house. We're not supposed to think about the amusement park out there. Everything in here is fake. You'd have to close your eyes, plug your ears, and think happy thoughts really hard to forget you were in an amusement park. No, no, that's enough of that. I'm bringing the scary atmosphere back. There never was one to bring back. Shush. Okay, imagination time. The world outside these walls doesn't exist. We are floating in a void trying to solve the curse of this haunted mansion displaced in time. Um. Everyone who has ever entered has become trapped within the walls, and if we let our guards down, even for a second, the same will happen to us. I'm pretty sure this is the, um, plot of Date Warp. <laughs> now, let us progress in eerie silence. Good. Sorry, did that scare you? That was you? Yep, I brought some of those snap pop things and that seemed like a good time to set one off. Bravo. I applaud that. Bravo. 
Damn it. That's really scummy. Why are you upset? It's not like the scares in this place are much different and you wanted to come here. Therefore, you should have enjoyed that. You think you're so clever, huh? Well, guess what? I actually got scared and now I need your arm. Ah, oh, stay away from me. No can do. I'm too terrified. You weren't scared. You were momentarily startled. Same difference. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. You really made this date special. Huh. Though I do feel a little bad I ruined your fun with that prank. I wasn't having fun. Oh good, then I've got nothing to feel guilty about. But seriously, kudos on the foresight. I kind of assumed you'd block out the knowledge that we're going on a date as soon as you put the phone down. It's really touching how it stays on your mind. You know that just makes things sound sad for you, right? Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> you still thought about it, though, and planned that prank. Aww. <sighs> and we'll never go there again. Um, okay, so we're gonna text. And then do a sleep. I should check my Swifty Taps as well. I think we're gonna be fine. Pretty sure. Swiffies 65. Yeah, we're we're good. I don't think we're gonna run out. I would be shocked if we did. Alright. Just gotta sleep away the days until it's time for another date, I guess. We hardly ever get random events anymore, sad face. I didn't turn that off again, did I, by accident? Haha, <laughs> that would be probably something I would do. <laughs> Skip. Watch, watch, watch. No, we're still good. Okay. Didn't. Whoops. I hacked that up, but I didn't hack anything else up. It's just that there's not much to see, I guess. At the moment. Ah, it's Shiloh's birthday. Barf. Let's hurry on through that, shall we? Okay. And it'll be next week that we go on our date. I mean, technically, it's now... November, I could have set the date yesterday, but we don't have that many dates left to go through, so might as well make it last a little bit. Alright. Last of the number one dates. We are number one. Hey! Zoo! Yes? What's up, Jeremy? Let me take you to the zoo tomorrow. Why? Because I hate you. Why do you think? Because you hate me. That was a joke, Jeremy. I don't hate you. Ah, uh, then why would you take me to the zoo? What's wrong with the zoo? It's a miserable place full of depressed animals in cages. I'm unhappy enough without having to look at that for an afternoon. <laughs> yeah, some zoos are a sad sight, but this one is good. The animals have enclosures to walk around and stuff. Besides, if no one spends their money there, it's only going to get worse. No matter how much money they make, they're not going to make things better for the animals they have. We'll just get even more. Then, after you go to the zoo to actually see what it's like, I'll help you start a petition if you still think it's awful. How do you know I haven't already seen it? Why would you have ever gone there? Huh, whatever. That's what I thought. I'll meet you tomorrow at the bus stop. Um, bye. Bye. I think that was a compromise of sorts. If you still feel that strongly about it, I'll help you start a petition. Sigh. Cheer up, it's really not as bad as you think. Actually, nothing is ever as bad as you think. Whatever. <laughs> okay, Jeremy, what do you want to see first? You can pick. What's your favorite kind of animal? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Just tell me. Ha, huh. horses. Me too! Really? Do you know how to ride a horse? Yep. 
That's pretty appealing, Jeremy, I'm not gonna lie. I'd prefer if you did. Too bad. I wonder if they've got horse-like animals here. Hmm. I mean, we've run into Nate a lot here, but I don't know if we're going to run into Nate again. I'll just have to guess and fix it in post, I guess. They've got ponies in the petting zoo. Oh my goodness, no! Missy, haven't seen you out in the wild ever on a date. That's nice. Missy, what are you doing here? I was here to meet up with my friends and have a good time, but then I saw Jeremy and got majorly depressed. Oh, come on. I know Jeremy is a sourpuss, but that's a stretch. How can just looking at him put you in a bad mood? Do you remember when we first met? I told you I knew you were someone worth getting to know. Uh-huh, and? And I get the same feeling about Jeremy, but there's no reason for it. Not a single one. Interesting. What? Of course there's a reason to hang out with Jeremy. Just look at his adorable pouty face. Don't you want to smoosh his cheeks in? It's not that cute. This will be the, probably be the only time we ever agree. Don't say things like that about me. You two are both crazy. You're right, I must be going crazy. It's the only explanation for why I feel this way. Mm-hmm, I see. You know, maybe what you're actually feeling is love. Blech. Ugh. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. No one is allowed to love him but me. Why don't you just ignore it? I can't. It makes me question everything I believe in. Huh. Did you know why Jerkette was so special when you first met her? No, but I can see why now. So, if it doesn't tell you the why or how, couldn't that also mean that it doesn't tell you when the person will be worth having around? That's true. And hey, Jeremy's pretty smart. Maybe he'll be like a millionaire when he grows up. I never thought about it like that. You're right. You're totally right. That's gotta be it. There's nothing wrong with me or my sense. You're worth hanging around because one day you'll be worth something. I feel so much better now. Thanks. Well, since your little crisis is over, would you mind leaving? We're kind of on a date here. Sure. I've got people to meet too anyways. Bye! All right. Great, she's gone. Huh. Good for you, Jeremy, making Missy feel better like that. I wanted her gone. I don't doubt that. But I just want to say that I think you're worth hanging out with right now. I don't care what happens in the future. Ew. Are you trying to be Shiloh? Of course, if you do become a millionaire, you'll remember me, right? The wonderful and only girl who gave you a chance during your high school years. Um, the odds are pretty low. That you'll become a millionaire, or that you'll remember me if you do become a millionaire? Both. Scum. <laughs> he smiled, though. So, Jeremy, now that you've seen the whole shebang, was it really as sad as you imagined? Pretty much. I'm never going back. Boo. Well, better start up that petition. <laughs> ah, such an uneventful date. Well, hello, Bay, coming out of nowhere in my favorite outfit. Whoa, hey, Bay, what you doing out here? Oh, hello, Starfish. I'm doing a little school shopping. Me too. Sucks. Yes, it is a shame we are required to do this ourselves. But I suppose it's good for some of the students at this school to learn some responsibility. Uh-huh, whatever. I don't need any more responsibility. I want to be doing something fun. Uh-huh. And what would you prefer to do instead? I don't know. I could be buying cool stuff or hanging out at the arcade. That's lovely, Twinkle. I'm guessing you don't frequent the arcade? You're so smart. You know grown-ups can have fun at an arcade, too. Certainly. Adults like Cam. Exactly how well do you know, Cam? Well enough. It doesn't take many conversations to have him figured out. Rude, I know what you were implying now. Smart adults can like the arcade, too. 
Of course. Wait, is Cam even an adult? Hmm. I never asked how old he is. How do you know he's not a teenager? Oh. I simply assumed. Okay. We should find out. You can do so. I'm going to get my chores done. No way, it's your fault this came up. You may text me the answer later. I promise I'll read it. Not good enough. I'd really rather not go. Come on, lazy bones. It won't take long. We're right by the arcade. It'll be in and out. Somehow I doubt that. Why are we going on this random excursion with Pei? I mean, I'm curious now too, but... Alright. Move it. Oh. Sheesh, we're almost there. Actually, I believe my assumption was mistaken. We should go back to what we were doing. You'd rather admit you were wrong than go to the arcade? I know how to admit I'm wrong, sweet pea. Yeah, sure you do. If you say so. Um... Huh? Who? Where? Okay, it's a lady. If you is that Jerkette's voice? Hold on. No, it's this one. If you say so. Why do you have a voice? Sorry, I'm hung up over this for like no good reason. Um, maybe it's Missy? I guess it's gotta be either Missy or Alicia. Oh, hi. Hmm. It, it's Alicia, okay. Alicia? Wow, you look wonderful. I've never seen you out in the wild either, I don't think. You look fantastic. Killing it, girl. How come I'm running into my my old friends? <laughs> I'm all of a sudden. Okay, whatever. What are you guys up to? We're going to the arcade to see Cam. Oh, sorry. I was just there. He's not working today. Damn. What a shame. At least she saved you a trip. Hey, do you know if Cam is underaged? Why? Forget it. I think he turned 18 about a month before you enrolled. Well, well, well. Looks like you were actually right after all, Bay. How nice. I'm so pleased that was settled. And now I'll be taking my leave. I still have many things to get done today. Flips his cape like, uh tuxedo mask <laughs> farewell bye see you later alicia i think i'm gonna stick with bay do you really not have anything else to do this is more important if you say so <laughs> why are we following him poor bay don't look so sulky at least you're done i'm very tired yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, Cam. Hey, Bay. Uh. And your kit, you're here too. Hey. Hello, Sunshine. Unfortunately, we don't have time to chat. Aw, how come? We can totally talk. Yeah? <laughs> Poor Bay. Yeah, Faye is super tired, so I don't mind taking a break before heading back to the school. Cool. No, no, we should return to the campus as soon as possible. So, Cam, why'd you call it to Bay like that? Because he's my buddy. <laughs> really? Yeah, I haven't seen him around much, though. Is that true, Bay? Cam has taken quite a shine to me. <laughs> why? 
He doesn't pay much mind to sarcasm, unfortunately. Ha, <laughs> right. Well, isn't that nice? And here everyone back at school is thinking you don't have any friends. What? I'd prefer to keep it that way. Why? Yeah, Bay. why? Because isn't it so nifty to have a secret friendship? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Perfect. Please keep our secret. Yeah, please. Okay, your secret is safe with me. Thanks. Yes, you are so wonderful, Cookie. <laughs> What's funny? I like what he calls people. Me too. Those nicknames? Yeah, they're nice, you know? Thank you, Muffin. What else do you like about your good friend, Bay? Mmm, lots of things. He's smart and nice. Amazing. And Bay, what do you like about your friend? <laughs> He's very... sweet. Thanks. Ah, I'm glad I learned this secret. Hey, you know what would be a good idea? If we were a group of secret friends. Yeah. That is a fantastic idea. Great, we're agreed. With that done, we should really be returning to the school. Okay, secret friendship group forever. Yeah, bye ya. <laughs> Come on, how can you not like him? Oh. Wait, don't leave without me, secret buddy. <laughs> Aw, Cam's a good egg. He likes Bay that much, you know he's a good egg. <laughs> what a random happenstance that was. <laughs> you think you would get that on Bay's route, but nope. I'm so curious what triggers some of these extra scenes. Alright, not birthday meetings. What do we got today? Talking about parents, I guess? Family? Family in general? Okay. Ah, oh, that was really entertaining. Sacred Friends with Jeremy and Cam. Whoops. Well, actually, you know what? I could work. It's been a while. Has been quite a while. Okay, so it won't be this weekend, but next weekend... We can go on another date. I think we're done all the ones, so we can start the twos. See how that goes. All right, Christmas time, winter music. Uh, yeah, calling Jeremy. Okay, just making sure everything is copacetic. Yes. All right, to the gallery for our number two. Ah, uh, hello. Sup, Jeremy? Are you free tomorrow? Huh, what do you want to do? I want to go out with you, obviously. Where? Mm, we could go to the museum again. They got us some new pieces of art you can scoff at. Do I have to? We already went to the museum together. True, but where we go is meaningless, so that shouldn't make a difference. You're right. And if you keep asking, I'll give up since there's no point in arguing. Or auguring. But why do you want to go there again? I thought you didn't care about art. I don't have any better ideas right now. Whatever. Cool. See you tomorrow. Same place, same time as before. Mm, bye. Alright. Call it a date. Sigh. Cheer up. I'm sure we'll have some fun. I don't like having fun. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. Okay, anything you want to do here? Not really. I guess we'll just look at the new pieces then. I'll make up my own meaning for them and you'll be impressed with how deep it is. Ah, uh, can you even tell which are the new ones? 
Sure. Uh, that one over there, and that one in the corner, and that kind of thing. Do you really know what you're talking about? Can you tell? No, I can't. I don't remember any of this. Then you're just gonna have to trust me. That sounds like a dangerous proposition. But whatever. Who cares? Good. I'll lead the way. Huh. Is that everything? Yeah, I'd say so. Aw, oh, he's got his open-eyed look. <laughs> the, the hope of leaving. <laughs> Are we leaving, then? No. Why? Because you were lame. You didn't even pretend to be impressed by me pretending to be knowledgeable about art. So, what are we supposed to do now? We're gonna keep going over art until you appreciate how thoughtful I am. But that will never happen. You can fake it, I don't mind. That's too hard. You seriously can't even pretend to have a good time? Yes. If I could, don't you think I would all the time? I don't like ruining everyone's mood with the way I am. Aww. You don't? No. Well, not always. But either way, I'm this way because I can't help it, not because I'm doing it on purpose. Why are you like this? Life is hard. Too hard for me. I'm not ignorant or resilient enough to manage. Are you actually depressed? Like, medically? No. Then maybe you should just try a little harder. I'm already trying the best I can. This is all I can do. I don't mind if that's not good enough in your opinion. I'm used to that. You sure you don't need therapy or medication? Those aren't going to change how the world works. Uh-huh. And what is it about life that's so terrible? Huh. Everything. Oh, come on. What can I do about that? Nothing. Just do what you said last time. Keep living in your fantasy. Live that fantasy for as long as you can, because when it ends, you'll be like me. No, Jeremy, I don't think so. No one is like you. <laughs> I have two boys in my life that would beg to differ. Um, there are a lot of people like me. I only seem different because it normally doesn't happen until you're older. There are lots of happy older people. And many sad ones. You know what? I think you need a hug. I don't need a hug. Yeah, you do. No way has a cutie like you been hugged enough. I've been hugged more than I would have liked. Don't be shy. Bring it in, Jeremy. Don't touch me. It'll make you feel better. Nothing makes me feel better. Okay, it'll make me feel better. I'm not worried about making you feel better. I thought you said you didn't want to ruin everyone's mood. I said, not always. Aww. <laughs> well, here we are at the end of the date. Yep. Can I get a parting hug? Nope. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> uh, yeah. I do kind of get the feeling Jeremy is depressed, though. Like, maybe he hasn't been diagnosed with depression, but that doesn't mean he isn't depressed. And about medication and therapy not changing how the world works, that's true, but it can help you deal with it better, or change your view of the world and the way it works. No one should have to be that depressed and sad and just like, uh, nothing matters all the time. I'm sure he doesn't want to feel that way all the time. Poor Jeremy. Nothing makes him feel better. <laughs> Not even our dates, although sometimes we get a smile from him. And there is something that matters in Jeremy's life, and that is the love of brownies. <laughs> so there is something to live for in this world. <laughs> Just think, Jeremy. Brownies. We should learn to bake brownies for our boy. Then at least he has something to look forward to. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hello, Pran. Trying to make a move. I'm quite surprised, actually, though, that the, uh, the writers decided to not have him be uh, clinically depressed. Interesting choice. I wonder why that was. Um, okay. Let's see if we can get him to show us some archery. Ah, uh, yes? Sup, Jeremy. Let's go to the archery range tomorrow. We already went there. Did it get blown up? Um, no. Then I'm pretty sure we can go again. I don't want to. Oh, don't be such a baby. If you don't want to do archery yourself, you don't have to. Then why do you want to go back? Because you can still teach me. Nope. Yes. You already know the basics. Yeah, but I bet there's still stuff you could teach me about, Mr. Expert. I'm not a good teacher. Well, I'm a great student. I'm sure that'll make up for it. Huh. Great. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. What I want to know is, are we going to run into Pran again? Because I am so curious about more of his outfits. <laughs> uh. Hey there, Teach. Ah, uh, could you not call me that? It's awful. Joy kill. Still, I'm looking forward to being in your care today. Sigh. Are you really- <gasps> You are here. I love that outfit. Oh, that looks wonderful. What a great color on you. Man, Pran, killing it. Hello. You're here again? Seriously, how often do you need to draw people shooting arrows? I'm not sketching people, I'm sketching plant life. Shouldn't you go to the botanical gardens for that? Why at this place? I'm not allowed to be here. No, it's just weird. I want to be here. Is that a problem or what? It's hard to understand. Why the archery range? I have a history here. What kind of history? I've had to come to this place a lot for Jeremy. I've gotten used to being here. Finally, so that's it. So this is you two's special spot. Um, I guess. Aw, that's really nice. What exactly is your guy's relationship anyways? We're friends. <laughs> Fran, do you want to add anything to that? Mm. And? And what? There isn't anything else to our relationship. Uh-huh. But how did people like you manage to make friends? It's a little suspicious, honestly. Huh, do I have to tell you? No. Yes. I don't like this. Well, what could be worse, telling me how you two met or listening to double entendres while you teach me about archery, which was the original plan? Those are both horrible. But that's life. So? I'll tell you about Pran and I. Yay, get to it! Story time, story time! Whatever. We met when we were both 13. It was right after I turned 13, actually. I wanted to stay at home after school instead of going to their stupid store, and they figured 13 would be old enough if there was a babysitter there. Okay. Oh my god, Pran was the babysitter! What?! <laughs> How do you get a 13-year-old to babysit a 13-year-old? I get... What? What? I have more questions. I was. <laughs> huh. Yes, they couldn't figure out Pran was almost the same age as I was and hired him. Were you always this big? And did you know? Yep. Really? It was so obvious a 13-year-old could tell, but your parents couldn't? Well, remember how I told about all those classes I used to take? A lot of them were at this one community center. Pran had some lessons there, too, and I remembered him as someone in the same age group as me. Alright, I guess it's not that bad, then. They were still too blind to recognize him. Whatever, that's just how they are. Now, now, Jeremy. You were part of the classes. All they did was pick you up. How could they be expected to remember Pran? 
How many teens with white hair and caterpillar eyebrows do you think there are in this town? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> He's like, aw, he called my eyebrows caterpillar eyebrows. <laughs> oh, poor Anne. Hmm. What? That's what I said to Pran when he tried to tell me I was mistaking him for someone else. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty fair point. Anyways, I was kind of pissed since at first I thought my parents were actually dumb enough to get a babysitter my age, but when I couldn't be convinced he was someone else, Pran explained his age was a secret. Lying about your age to get a job? I wouldn't have expected that from you, Pran. I was tall for a 13-year-old. I bet that's not really an explanation, though. So, why'd you let this deceit slide, Jeremy? Wouldn't you want to rub such a big mistake in your parents' faces? I was better off with him than an actual babysitter. Oh? Pran would leave me alone and I'd let him keep getting paid for sitting around doing nothing. A beneficial arrangement. Now that's a sweet gig. Yep, it was. I don't know why he only wanted to do it for three weeks. What? Um, when Pran found out I knew his real age, he asked me not to tell for a little while because he only needed to work for three weeks. And even after we made our deal, he was still set on leaving after three weeks. And did he actually quit after three weeks? Nope, he stopped being my babysitter after two years, and even after that he still never left. He spends more time at my place than his own. That's really touching, surprisingly so. Why'd you stay, Pran? And why'd you only want to work for three weeks in the first place? Mm. Jeremy? Um, I don't know. I already said that. What? Why? I never asked. I seriously don't know the answer to either of those questions. Wow, never mind. What a terrible friendship. Whatever. Go shoot arrows or whatever. Lame. <laughs> Ugh. It doesn't matter if you know or not. But I need to know these things. I'll never be happy if I don't. I can't coddle you forever. Mm. <laughs> Truth. You tell her, Jeremy. Maybe we'll find out on Pran's raid. You gotta have something left for that boy. Already getting sneak peeks at his outfits, after all. <laughs> 